Yeah, fantastic, actually. Doing really great, really, really, really great. Seeing the kids every single day, working out, um, not really eating that healthy, but we do what we can. Um, just finishing up some Christmas shopping, wrapping gifts. Um, that's pretty much it. Dealing with like a lot um, in general, just a lot of people dying and um, accidentally overdosing and a lot of really weird, unexplainable deaths um, going on. So that is concerning. Um, but other than that, uh, not much is going on. Um, the same old predators doing the same dumb shit. They haven't figured out yet that it would be better for them to make customers of people than victims. And so I'm starting to change my positioning. Um, I've always been very opening, I'm sorry, open and accepting of other people's beliefs and belief structures and systems and, you know, why they believe what they believe and try to have an open mind in that regard. Um, but honestly, it's like, ill. If the only way you can get anywhere is by making someone else your victim, world will be left with only one people one person right isn't that survival of the fittest that's not a way to like make the world better let's make the world better by like being nice to each other by giving when you can and what you can by you know removing yourself if you don't like something or someone by communicating, by, there's just so many ways to prevent shit like that. It's hard to say it's not intentional when it's clearly intentional. You know what I mean? Like, you don't know me at all. You don't know my name. You don't know where I, where I live or what I do or my character, what I like. So why commit yourself to knowing why commit yourself in the eyes of others to knowing is it going to get you paid is it going to support your family nobody fucking cares so go away you know what i'm saying like it's just so annoying i'm at this other storage locker and i swear to god to you i signed up the only fucking person there was no one else in there and then I leave because my phone gets stolen, my lock gets stolen, and someone puts bullets outside my um, storage door. <laughs> now I come to another storage and it's the same thing. Like, I'm here, there's never anyone here, and all of a sudden, here we go again. Little by little, every day that passes, there's another person, and I just truly don't know, like, what to do. I've put cameras. I, I know who it is. Like, I can see the license plates or the cars or even the faces and figures that are repetitive. So, you you know, you see the theme. But it's just like, what do you want? You know? Like, it's uncomfortable. I want my children. And I want to move on with my life. Like... It's not hard. Pretty sure everyone wants that. Whoever's responsible for like terrorizing the general public, what is your deal, bro? What is your fucking deal for real? I told you once, I told you twice, I told you three or four, ah, pardon, times at least. Now they're putting guns and shit. It's fucked up. They're nasty. 
nasty people. Those Eric Leslie. 